Hi, this is Tara from Maui Now. So many of our local businesses have been going through a very hard time right now, and we wanted to give them a chance to share how they're maneuvering during these difficult circumstances. And today we have with us Gabe Lucy, president of Trilogy Excursions. Hi, Gabe. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, I know a lot of us here on Maui are familiar with Trilogy, and some of us have gone on it since we were a kid, and some of us know the Kuhn family, but can you tell us a little about Trilogy for people who don't know, and kind of your role in it, and maybe how long it's operated here on Maui? Yeah, thanks. Um, well, we've definitely been in business for a long time. Uh, we're coming up on 47 years in June, and um, I'm not sure if we'll have to put an asterisk on this year. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are we are aiming for uh, we would like to be a hundred year company some someday. Uh, this last year, um, Jim and Randy uh, Kuhn uh, stepped down as the owners of the company and passed it on to the next generation. Uh, good timing for for them, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, I took over as the president at the beginning of last year and helped with that transition. Uh, I've been with the company for thirteen years. We have uh, other businesses other than Trilogy. So we have our um, gas station on Lanai and Delhi and, and auto service uh, care that's still in business right now. Uh, we also have a management company then, and we, we manage uh, Mr. Ellison's vessels for the fourth season on Lanai uh, that we do as well currently still too. So I'm still the president of those three companies. And I've always felt part of the Trilogy Ohana and, and you know, guests like yourself that have come out with us in the past, we want, we, we hope that you know everybody feels like part of that trilogy, Ohana, and um, we, we feel that way with all of our employees. So, and have the privilege in coming up in the business. So I, I do understand how important it is to me and how it is important it is to our staff and their livelihood on the island. So um, these have been some challenging times in the last month, and um, yeah, we're just trying to work through it. Yeah. Well, that's a neat story that you you worked your way up. Um, how has this COVID-19 affected Trilogy, Trilogy operations and then the other businesses that you mentioned? Well, Trilogy obviously um, was, was affected just like all the other businesses here on Maui and in the state that are very reliant on tourism. Um, we are, you know, it's hard to find out that we're not considered a central business, um, but we're, <laughs> we're not. Um, as much as going out and seeing whales is good for, for you, um, it, it, we had to shut down our tours, uh, you know, right around the, the 20th of the, our 17th of last month. Um, we kind of went into survival mode at that point. Um, you know, we've been trying to communicate with our staff the challenges that we don't know the future. And we had to do uh, a pretty sizable uh, temporary layoff of most of our employees on the trilogy side. Our um, gas station and um, auto shop on Lanai, you know, our gas station is the only gas station on the island of Lanai. Um, so we've continued to operate our services over there and there still is no cases on Lanai. And then uh, under our management contract for Mr. Ellison, he actually provided five weeks of pay for our management company um, to keep our employees uh, managing, taking care of the boats. And, um, you know, so we've, that's how it's kind of affected us here in the first step. Um, the, as of yesterday, we notified all of our current, our, our staff that are on temporary layoff that we'll be returning them to work. And we just felt it was really hard as a family business to be disconnected from a lot of our employees and putting them out on unemployment. Um, I know there are some benefits of the unemployment for some, um, but being able to extend their health benefits and bringing our Ohana back together so we can work through this in the short run to figure out what it'll look like when this is over um, was really critical to us. And so we were able to take advantage um, of that opportunity that the federal and the government op offered, and we do plan on bringing them back. So we've been very transparent with our, our company, throughout our company, with our staff, um, regarding you know kind of the next steps that we're taking. But um, I think when I, I, somebody told me yesterday, what, I read it that the best thing to do is take one step and then measure the next step. Mm -hmm. So our first step was to unfortunately go into survival mode, give us a little time. So it's been about three and a half weeks since we um, did the temporary layoff. But you know, we, we believe that bringing our staff back um, based on how our company um, works would be best to bring them back on so we can work through this plan together as an Ohana. Um, but it was very hard um, being a family business and having employees that are anywhere from a year to 20 years working for us 
that have never been on unemployment their entire life, to put them on unemployment and have them worried about whether they'll have a job after this is all over. So the COVID did affect us and it does affect a lot of small businesses, restaurants, um, a lot of businesses are trying to survive on Maui, and Maui, I, I believe, has one of the highest unemployment rates in the country right now because of the fact that we're so, you know, we do, tourism is a big part of our economy here. Um, so we do need to bring our team back together and figure out how we're going to, um, you know, adjust as tourism does ramp up in the future and how we can support other businesses. Right. And since we have you on here, is there anything further you'd like to share with the Maui community? Well, I think it's really important that we continue to come together um, as a community, even though we can't really come together. And I think in, right now this is really a health healthcare crisis. And the best thing we can do is stay isolated. Um, but import, more importantly is if we, even if we're isolated, there are technology ways like you and I are Zoom chatting right now um, using FaceTime. I think it's really critical that during this time, we, we, we are more transparent with um, our community. And, and I think that the mayor has done his, his best to do that. Uh, I, you know, they joined the, the first week that we had this, uh, this crisis, the mayor put together a business task force that meets every Tuesday on, online or over the phone. Originally we met in person and then that moved to um, a conference calls and it started to bring the businesses together. And what we've learned, I think, through this process is the most important thing you can do is, is continue to try to provide, and I recommend this for all businesses, is you know, work together as much as possible because we're gonna need to find a solution to come back online um, when time, is, time comes. And we're gonna need to be able to do that um, fast and really smart. Um, but the other thing is just be transparent and, and communicate with your staff. You know, there's lots of ways to do that via email or phone calls. Um, provide them an understanding of where you're, what you're doing to, to, to protect them and to move forward. Just because maybe you have to, you have to do a, you know, in survival mode, lay them off, you know, continue to be transparent. I think that's the biggest issue we can run into right now is that we need to share all the information we have and try to work through this together as a, as a, as a team and as a Ohana, you know, and, and as an island, so. Sounds like uh, Trilogy's Ohana is strong and I'm, I'm happy to hear all that you guys are doing to continue on and we can't wait again to be out on Trilogy on the waters and not be <laughs> stuck inside, so. We really appreciate all that you guys do and appreciate you being on with us today and um, wish you all the best in the next coming weeks. Wonderful. Thank you, Sarah.